Hello everyone. Let's look at some properties of uh, chords of a circle. Consider a circle and uh, let me draw a few chords here. Chords are those uh, lines which connect two points on the circumference of the circle. So we have a blue chord here and then let me draw a, large, a lengthier one, a chord which is bigger than the blue chord, a brown chord here. So we can classify chords based on their length. This is one way of classifying chords and another way is we can classify chords based on the angle they make at the center. So another way of classification based on angle made at the center. Now instead of saying angle made at the center, I can also use the word angle subtended at the center. So this is commonly used when we talk about angles which are made subtended. Right? And let me draw a third chord for you in this circle, a chord which passes through the center. This is the longest chord because it passes through the center. It can be, it is, this has to be the longest chord and this is the diameter of the circle. Alright. Now, we will see what angle the blue chord subtends at the center by connecting the end of the chord to the center of the circle. The two ends of the chord is connected to the center and this is the angle which it subtends. And what about the brown chord? If I connect the center of the circle, the two ends of the brown chord, I get one more triangle and here this angle is made at the center. This, this is the angle which is subtended at the center by the longer chord. And now you think about what angle would the diameter subtend at the center. This is something which you should ponder about and let us know later. What is the angle which the diameter would subtend at the center? Does it subtend any angle or not? And now since we have drawn these two angles, we can infer something looking at it intuitively or the, the picture shows us that smaller angles, I mean the smaller chords, the smaller chord makes smaller angle right and the bigger chord makes bigger angle so this is obvious looking at the picture now what about equal chords what would happen if the chords are equal what would happen to the angles when the chords are equal now let's consider another circle to explore this point in case the chords are equal what would happen to the angle subtended at the center? Let me uh, take two chords and assume that they are equal in length. This is the center. So if I connect the ends of the chord to the center of the circle, this is the angle subtended. Right? the first triangle the triangle on top this is the angle subtended and the triangle below this is the angle subtended is there any relation between these two angles look at the chords we have uh, assumed that these two chords are equal right so i am just putting these two lines to show that they are equal and now this is the radius of the circle because it connects the center o to the circumference so this is the radius of the circle and this also the other line also is the radius of the circle so if i call this chord ab and this chord cd oa and ob are radius of the circle and oc and od also are radii of the same circle so all of them are equal in length right so what do we infer from this picture that the these two triangles are one and the same because three lines, the three sides of the triangle are equal to one another. The corresponding sides are equal. So the triangles are one and the same. So the angles also has to be equal. Right? So intuitively we have arrived at this conclusion that equal chords subtend equal angles at the center. 
right and what about the converse of this first of all what is the converse if we know that the angles are equal we may not be aware of the chords the size of the chords or the length of the chords we do not know whether they are equal or not but what we know is that the angles are equal the angles subtended at the center are equal so consider this new circle and two chords of the circle so let me draw the two chords here i am not sure about the length of the chord i do not know which one is big or which one is small but what i know is the angles subtended by these two chords at the center are equal to one another right so these two angles are equal and we also know these lines connecting the center to the ends of the chord are the radius of this circle so they have to be equal to one another so now again two triangles are formed and in these two triangles three parameters are fixed two sides and one angle are fixed so the other sides and the other angles also have to be the same that is these two triangles if superimposed on one another will be one and the same so we can conclude that this line these two chords also are equal in length right so if the angles subtended by the chords are equal then the chords also are equal so intuitively we have shown you that equal chords subtend equal angles at the center and two if angles are equal at the center the angles subtended are equal then chord lengths also are equal right so these two points have been shown intuitively in this video of us formal proof of the above these two statements will be provided at math decoded thank you i hope you followed